Good morning everyone, it's Adam with Seaside Vacations. I'm at the Carlo Beach Access in Kill Devil Hills this morning with the Beach Report for Wednesday, August 24th. Out here early this morning catching the sunrise and it was a gorgeous one so I'm glad I got out of bed early for that. Uh, another gorgeous day. I'm going to roll through the beach report pretty quickly and then jump over to Hurricane Irene because I'm guessing that's what everybody has in their mind. Uh, like I said, another gorgeous day today. It's been some awesome weather for the past week or two. Humidity has dropped quite a bit and the temps have cooled off to the mid 80s. So really perfect beach weather. Today we've got almost no wind. Uh, should be out of the east for most of the day, which is good news. So it'll push some of that warmer water towards the shore. So temps in the water should be pretty warm uh, over the next few days. And really we should have some great beach weather over the next couple days. Uh, unfortunately, Unfortunately, no surf. You might be able to see behind me that there's really no swell coming in. But uh, as I mentioned, Hurricane Irene is out there, so the uh, surf forecast look, does look pretty gnarly over the next few days. Jumps up to uh, double overhead as we approach the weekend. So uh, that should be pretty crazy. Uh, as for fishing, fishing's going real strong. Offshore is seeing dolphin, wahoo, blackfin, and yellowfin tuna. Uh, some billfish mixed in. The piers, bridges, surf, and sound are still real consistent with a wide variety of fish. Anything from spot, croaker, sea mullet, Spanish mackerel, bluefish, flounder, croaker, uh, some cobia, some triggerfish, some spadefish, some pompano have showed up. So wide variety of fish, definitely a good time to be down here casting. Uh, but as for Hurricane Irene, uh, things look, still looks pretty gnarly. Uh, still moving off the coast of uh, Puerto Rico and heading up this way. Still way too early for us to really tell what's going on. Uh, I know the Weather Channel and some of the news organizations are out there kind of hyping it up and telling you exactly where it's going to land. and. The computer models are good. I mean, it's definitely showing that it's tracking towards the Outer Banks right now, but hurricanes are real unpredictable. And we are uh, talking about a potential for Saturday night into Sunday impact on the Outer Banks. And it's only Wednesday. So based on the fact that hurricanes can change course pretty drastically and pretty quickly, uh, there's really no telling exactly what's going to happen. So we're kind of in a wait and see mode right now. We are preparing. Uh, Ocracoke has been uh, evacuated or it's in the process of being evacuated today. Uh, all the guests have to leave and then tomorrow uh, all the um, year-round residents have to leave and that's really precautionary. They want to make sure that people can get off the island if they need to so they have to start down in Ocracoke and then move their way up. Uh, but really that's not an indicator that the hurricane is definitely heading this way. It's still too early for us to really tell what that specific track is going to be. So like I said, we're preparing but uh, we're still holding out hope that it's going to head off to the east and move out to sea and hopefully everyone gets spared from Hurricane Irene. Uh, but we're in the process of making sure that everything's safe down here and if you do have a home and are uh, considering you know, what to do as far as uh, coming down this weekend, I'd say wait and see. Let's see what happens. Uh, our goal is to get everybody into their homes and enjoying their vacation as soon as possible. But let's let Mother Nature take its course for a little bit. And over the next few days, we should be able to tell uh, a little bit better what course the hurricane is going to take. Uh, but like I said, right now it's looking like it's a Category 2 this morning. Predictions are saying that it could get up to a Category 3. Some are even saying Category 4 by the time it makes landfall. Uh, but a little bit too early to tell. And uh, the course right now looks like it's headed towards Ocracoke or Hatteras. So uh, we'll see what happens over the next few days. Please keep an eye on our website, OuterBanksVacations.com. We're going to keep that up to date with the most up-to-date information that's coming out. We'll also update Facebook. It's uh, Facebook.com forward slash Seaside Vacations, and we'll get video and uh, our blogs out there as much as we can as well. So hope you have a great Wednesday. Uh, keep us in your thoughts. Keep pushing Irene out to sea. And uh, as a final note, how about that earthquake yesterday? That was pretty wild. That was definitely a first for this East Coast kid. So hope you guys have a great Wednesday, and we'll talk to you soon. Enjoy the sunrise.